studies uh, students, Mr. Simantu and Villas. Uh, I would like to go through the scope for mock exam. So uh, exams for high level and ordinary level is going to be different. So, but uh, the scope is going to be the same, but the question papers are going to be different. Okay, uh, so far we covered a theme one, which consists of three topics. That is the nature and purpose of economic activity. So whereby you are expected to know, uh, you must be able to explain the meaning of specialization, division of labor, and then you also give the advantages and disadvantages. And then the levels of specialization, and then you also uh, discuss the groups that are involved into business activities. So this one, uh, we are referring to uh, stakeholders. So what are the stakeholders that are involved in business activities? And then from there, uh, you give examples of conflict of objectives between the different stakeholders. And then uh, you must be able to explain the purpose and activity in terms of profit-making uh, activity and then private enterprise and also public enterprise. Okay, the second topic is uh, on economic systems. So you must be able to describe and then explain the role of the state. So what role does the state plays in the economy? And then from there you have to uh, distinguish between a market economy, mixed economy, and then planned economy with the reference to characteristics, advantages, and then disadvantages. And then uh, topic three, the types of business activity, whereby you first must be able to explain how is wealth created and then distributed. What is the importance of uh, having welfare policies to alleviate poverty? And then from there, differentiate uh, with examples between the different types of business activities, that is primary, secondary, and tertiary sectors. And then you should know also the methods, the main methods of measuring the size of the business. And then you must be able to explain how can a business grow. So we said a business can grow either internally or externally. And then explain with examples uh, the meaning of a multinational firm and then you should also give advantages and disadvantages of a multinational firm to a host nation or to a host country. And then from there you have to explain uh, the importance of globalization, explain how do small firms survive uh, from competition uh, from large firms and then also explain how the business respond to the needs of the community. So uh, the business are uh, operating in our community. So how do they respond to the needs of the people living in the community? So uh, that is the end of uh, theme one. So also uh, tackled on theme two, whereby you're expected to know uh, ways in which a business activity is organized. So that is in the public and also in the uh, private sector. So you must be able to explain with examples the difference between a public and a uh, private sector. And then you should also be able to distinguish between nationalization and then privatization. And then uh, topic two, under theme, one, uh, theme two, we looked at different forms of business organization. So you must be able to de uh, describe their main characteristics, advantages, and then disadvantages. And then also describe how uh, ownership becomes divorced from uh, control as a business grows. And then the third topic was organizational structure, that is by level and by function. So firstly, you must be able to, def uh, to define what is organizational structure. And then also de uh, uh, define and command on the central features, that is uh, hierarchy, responsibility, authority, span of control, chain of command, line and staff organization, centralization, and uh, delegation, and also decentralization. And then you are also expected to draw and explain a simple organizational chart